Hello and welcome to another episode of videos and fly fishing. Today I'm gonna tie a little simple sea trout fly for you, a streamer pattern. It's the one I uh, used uh, earlier days and uh, I wanna talk a little about this pattern. It's very simple to tie and very uh, few materials. You can uh, surely know that this is uh, very effective. Uh, I want to talk a little about uh, this uh, fly and uh, I uh, have posted a picture on this uh, page to show how it's gonna look uh, approximately. So uh, well get on with the tying and uh, well so uh, then I'm gonna talk a little about the materials. Well here you see here is uh, here is the hook in the vise. A little about the materials. The hook first. I use this one. Partridge Attitude size 4. And I use some uh, hackle feathers. feathers. <laughs> and I use some uh, Mirage Hollow Tinsel. You can use uh, gold tinsel, whatever you want. And some uh, thread. Semper fly wax thread brown. You can use black and uh, whatever. Use your imagination. And I use uh, this color. It's a chartreuse uh, color. Um, and to seal it all off, I use some uh, fly tang lacquer from uh, what? Scene. What? What is this? It? Subai. Subai. Yes. Uh, well, along with other uh, equipment like a uh, little scissors, so, so, um, <laughs> force, well, what a flat nose plier or what to call it, and scissor, and some whip finisher, and uh, for eyes, I forgot that black bead chain eyes. Well, well, get some, uh, get started. I have to tell that you start with attaching the thread, snip off the waist, you take off two, one set of eyes. Almost to the hook eye. Okay, and a little drop of super glue. It's not important, you can do. And then you wind your thread back. The hook band. I like this hook because it is a good hook cap. Yeah. Here it comes. You see, I have these two feathers here. I place it like this. But that comes afterwards. First, I gotta dub a little ball of dubbing. I'm gonna tell you why. Here's the dubbing, chartreuse, for a little hot spot, place something on the thread, and try to make a little dubbing ball. Like this. The dubbing ball is there to make not to foul the feathers on the hook. Well, okay. I take the two feathers and 
place it like this so it uh, pulls away from each other and take the scissor and snip off take off the nearest fiber place it on the on the hook and attach it and display it from each other like this It stays apart. Well, now I take a little devil super glue and I find one more feather. Not so very wide, but take it from the from the neck this is okay peel off all the fluff and I tie it in by the tip like that it out was bad scissor so okay attach the thread make this feather just stick there here's a little tip for you I take my scissor just use it on the stem to make the feather fiber lay where I want it and I find myself a hackle plier before I take the flash tinsel hollow tinsel touch it Be sure not to touch too much fiber. Okay. Now go hand over hand. We cover up this hook shank. Now you take the hackle plier, place it, use some moisture to try to make the fiber lay down like this. Put some pressure on it, but not, not too much. You don't want to break the hackle stem. The idea of this hackle here is to make a, a lot of movement in the fly. So, just finish it, finish it off like that. Make your scissors snip off the wastes. Okay, and some persuasion of this fiber here to make the fibers 
play a little back so and then you take your whip finisher move around along to the hook hook eye take it and so now it's just remains some lacquer there you have it well a little about this idea this feather hair will compress and expand when you pull on your fly and pull out come together and pull out and that uh, makes a little movement in the fly that attract the fish I have had the very good uh, fish with this fly and uh, it is easy to tie uh, why don't you just try it you can uh, change the materials you can use uh, gold tinsel you can use some other colors of the hair you see in the picture I have made some uh, fly with the uh, with the green feathers you can also change the eyes and use the uh, shiny one and uh, the color of the hotspots is also uh, easy to change out so that's all for now folks and i, I thank you all for watching my videos and uh, i uh, subscribe to my channel if you want and hit the notification bell and you will always get my latest video so thank you all for now and uh, welcome you back to my next video bye